Imagine this. Massive, ancient designs carved into the earth, so large they can only be fully seen from the sky. These are geoglyphs, created by civilizations thousands of years ago without modern tools or even the ability to view their own work from above. How did they do it? Why would they create something so impossibly vast? And what were they trying to communicate? Take a moment to let that sink in. You're about to dive into three of the most mind-blowing and mysterious geoglyphs in the world. Let's start with the Nazca Lines in Peru. Spanning over 170 square miles, some of these figures are 1,200 feet long, that's as long as four football fields. But here's where it gets truly bizarre. These lines weren't fully appreciated until the 1920s, when commercial pilots flying over the desert were stunned by what they saw below. From the ground, these lines are almost invisible, but from the sky, they reveal massive animals, plants, and abstract shapes. How did the Nazca people without aerial views create such intricate designs? Were they messages to gods or even something extraterrestrial? Adding to the mystery, these lines have survived over 2,000 years in one of the harshest deserts on Earth. Now let's head to Chile's Atacama Desert, where the Atacama giant towers at nearly 400 feet tall. It was first rediscovered in the 19th century by explorers, its colossal form almost hidden by the vast, barren landscape. But as researchers began to study it, they found something even more perplexing. Intricate patterns on its body that some believe represent star constellations. Was the giant a celestial map, guiding ancient travelers by the stars? Or, as local folklore suggests, a deity watching over the desert? The purpose of this towering figure remains one of the desert's greatest unsolved mysteries. There are hundreds of geoglyphs like these around the world, giant figures etched into the land, only visible from above. But there's one more we need to explore and this one might just blow your mind. Before we dive into Ohio's Serpent Mound, hit that like button and subscribe for more jaw-dropping mysteries. The next part is where it gets really wild. The Serpent Mound, winding nearly 1,400 feet through Ohio, was known to Native American cultures for centuries, but it wasn't scientifically studied until the late 1800s. When archaeologists began examining it, they were stunned to discover that the Serpent Mound is not just a random shape, it's carefully aligned with celestial events. The serpent's coils perfectly match the path of the sun on both the summer and winter solstice, meaning that on those days the sun sets directly in line with specific points of the mound. Some even believe it aligns with lunar cycles as well. But why would ancient people go to such lengths to create a mound that tracks the movements of the sun and moon? Was the serpent mound a giant astronomical calendar? Or did it have deeper spiritual significance, perhaps marking the passage of time, life, and death? Despite excavations and years of study, the mound's true purpose remains elusive. Regardless of where they are found, whether Peru, Chile, or anywhere else around the world, these geoglyphs share one haunting truth. They were all designed to be seen from the sky by civilizations that had no way of flying. What was their purpose? Were they messages to the gods, or could they have been left for us to discover now, in the age of flight? And speaking of ancient mysteries, the Antikythera mechanism is an ancient device so advanced, it's been called the world's first computer over 2,000 years old and capable of predicting astronomical events with a precision that blows modern minds. Want to know how such a device could exist centuries ahead of its time? Check out our video where we dive into the mind-blowing mystery of the Antikythera mechanism. And now you know, stay curious.